happy Friday. I had the most discombobulated night and morning of all time. So I'm sleeping last night and I couldn't fall asleep. And then as soon as I fall asleep, I hear chirp, chirp, chirp. Stupid fire detector. Well, I guess a smoke detector is not stupid, but I guess the battery's going low or something. So I couldn't ignore it because it was like in my bedroom. So I get my step stool and then I'm like, great. I still can't reach it. And then I was just all kinds of unsafe because I was so damn tired and mad. I put like five pillows on my step stool and a pair of heels and I still couldn't reach the ceiling. So I'm like, okay, think girl, think. So then I decided to stand on my little like laptop stand thing that's in my living room. And that was good and then it broke. And then I realized I was I grabbed the wrong smoke detector. So I just grabbed a chair and put like five pillows on it and a four inch pair of heels and I was able to get it and I didn't fall and die. So I should be grateful for that. And I just slept really crappy. And then I woke, my alarm went off this morning and I was like, oh hell no. And I woke up like at the time that I'm usually getting dressed. And I've made like my shake and feet Bentley. Like I am just so discombobulated today. So it's kind of late right now. Hopefully, I'll only be like two or three minutes late, and then I'll just shave it off of my lunch or just stay late. I stayed late yesterday, so I probably should have some extra minutes. I mean, I'm not really late. I'm not gonna say what time it is, but. I'm not where I should be at the, for this time. So I'm just trying to just convince myself it's Friday. It's gonna be the best day ever because it is Friday and I'm just gonna stay busy and make the day go really fast and just get ish done so I can go home and take a nap because I'm so tired. So that's like two days in a row that I slept like poop. I think I need to make an appointment to get Bentley groomed. I was gonna just get clippers and do it myself, but I'm scared. So I need to find somewhere, someone to groom him tomorrow or Sunday. That's all I got this morning. I'm very low key because I'm just not feeling it. I'm gonna drink my coffee that I put in the freezer and now it's like frozen. There's just a chunk in that. I don't know what that was a chunk of. Oh, maybe it was ice. Yeah, so I'll talk to y'all later because um, if I could sleep and drive, that would be so awesome. Hola, mi gente. I don't know why my shirt is tucked in to my shorts. Awkward. I was just going to say what a smart little nugget I have. He missed. Only on weekends he does this. I don't understand. Honey, honey, honey. Come here, honey. Come. Come. You're not in trouble. Come, Bentley, come, come, come. Come, puppy, come. Sit. You wanna lay down? Wait, I'm gonna lay down too. Lay down too. Lay down. Down, look. Okay. So, can you tell me why you didn't pee in your box? Did I, I didn't say you could get up. Very hard to interview you when you're moving all over the place. Uh. Only on the weekends, like Friday night, Saturday he does it, and then like Sunday day sometimes. I don't know what it is. I cleaned the box completely today. Everything in there is clean. The glass, the glass, the grass is clean. The puppy pad under it's clean. I cleaned everything. Maybe he just likes to be dirty. Maybe he just missed. I don't know. No big deal. I'll just... Clean it up. I need to just... I love these paper towels, but they're starting to get a little expensive. Aviva, I'm gonna have to go back to whatever I was using before, because in my old life, before I had him, like a six, a roll of paper towels would last me like months. I don't even think I'd buy and buy the rolls. I would just buy like two big rolls of paper towels, like individual rolls. I'd be good for like months. Now, I bought like six. I don't know why I'm so dramatic about it. I bought like six and I have to buy more. And that was like two weeks ago. You are killing all the trees. 
We see your little fluffy butt. Tree killer. Tree killer. What's in there that you're so interested in, huh? Oh, your pacifier is in there. Fire. This shelf is giving me anxiety. There's so much stuff on here. Let's see if he'll play with the bubbles. Sees me opening them. See if he'll... I did it before and he he was okay with it. He didn't go under the couch. Bentley. Yay! Get the bubbles! Yay, he's not afraid of them anymore. Bentley! I don't think he wants to go close to them. Like if I walk near him. Bubbles! They're bubbles, my bubbles! Okay, that's enough for tonight. You don't have to go under the couch. You gonna like these bubbles. Oh, they're Mexican bubbles. Hecho in Mexico. They're Mexican bubbles. Who doesn't love a Mexican bubble? Bubbles, bubbles for my bubbles. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. They're not gonna go get the bubbles. He's either not impressed, still scared, or confused. Oh, and while I was doing all that, I totally forgot to clean his pee. I love how he managed to not get any pee on toys. High five. High five. High five. Thank you, my bulb. This is my life. Simple solution. Oxy-charged. Paper towels. Lego. Here's a quick tutorial on how to clean pee. First, you wipe up the pee with Viva paper towels because they're like the best paper towels of all time. Like I'll let Bounty finish in a minute but Viva makes the best paper towels of all time for picking up pee. So once you've done that, you take the pee that I'm going to gross you out and show you. I don't want my garbage to smell like pee. Mm, whatever. <sighs> They'll take it Sunday. Then you spray, I really don't even need to but I'm a needy Nelly. A simple solution, and that'll get all the odor out, and it will disinfect pee. Did you know that pee is sterile? It's true. Pee can't hurt you. I work in a lab. And then I do that, and I just cleaned this whole thing before. I pulled this tray out in the bottom, and I bleached it. Well, I didn't bleach it. Like, I sprayed, like, Clorox, whatever, on it. So now it's clean. I'm glad that... Oh my god, I've had so many bathroom issues with him today. I'm glad that his other bed wasn't in there because then he would have peed on that. And all of his beds in one capacity or another are in the washing machine right now. I think I have one in the washer, two in the dryer. I forgot what happened to this one. I think he did pee. No, he peed in there and missed. And I don't even know why this one got peed on, but it did. But it can go back in there now. So I had to leave him with Snuggle Pup when I went out with the burrs. Oh, I never, I don't think I filmed anything when we went out. But yeah, we went out. So see now you can have a little bed in there. Oh my God. And then this should be dry. I learned my lesson. You put the dryer on low and you put it in there for 10 minutes. Check it. And just do it in 10 minute increments on the lowest setting because if you do it on regular, this will burn and you have to buy a new one. Fail. You happy? That's your bed, Bulbas. You wanna smell it? Does it still smell like pee? He pooped in there too. I don't know, he like lost all his sense today. I don't know why he... Oh, cause when I was cleaning the other one, um, potty box, he had to go and he peed in there and pooped in there. So I was like, you know, thanks for not peeing and pooping on the carpet, but I need you to do better. So I got this bell. Well, oh, actually, he got two things from Amazon today. I want to teach him how to ring the bell with his paw. I don't know why. Just as a trick. It was in the trick book. Bant, you want to learn how to ring the bell? Oh, and we got you a new toothpaste. We got Vibrax CET Enzymatic Toothpaste with tartar control. And it tastes like beef. He's never had beef, so I don't know if he'll like it. I've only given him chicken flavored things. And he's had chicken, his food is chicken. I don't know how he feels about beef, so I hope he's not racist and 
I hope he's an equal opportunist and he'll give beef a chance. The other Too Faced I had, a Nyla Bone, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's, why is this turning into all about the Bentley video? I actually used two different toothpastes on him. Because I don't want to have to pay $600, $500 to get dental work done. So I figure if I start out right from the beginning, I can save myself some money. Then he can go to more classes. Yeah, you need to get groomed tomorrow, honey. I was going to do it myself. But I think we're going to let you get fresh groomed one more time. I'll do it after. Yeah, he was using this toothpaste. And it's good, and it's good for tartar, and it's veterinarian recommended, even though that can mean, like, one veterinarian recommended it. Marketing major, so I know the tricks. But it does not, it doesn't have the enzymes in it that work on the tartar, like, after you're done brushing, so. But it smells good. I don't know what flavor it is, but it smells good. It kind of smells like candy. Do you guys care? No. And then I also use this, Fresh Breath Drops, which he hates. Because all you do is just drop it on the area, on the teeth. Actually, like where it has tartar, and then it has enzymes in it, so it works over time. But I'm still finding tartar, so I went and got big kid toothpaste for him. Let's smell it. Bentley! Come, come, come! What's that? Do you like it? Here, let's see if you like the flavor, because I wanted to get you chicken, but they didn't have it on Amazon. You don't want to lick it off my finger? I got more. Good boy. Okay, so he's not grossed out by it, because he hates this one, because it's minty. I guess dogs like to have meat breath. And the Bentleys are going to call it a night. I have one more load of laundry. His puppy laundry. Washing his beds. But we're gonna say goodnight and then we're gonna brush his teeth with his new beef toothpaste. Bubbles. Bentley's. Bentley, say night tonight to all your friends. Bye guys. I hope I like this toothpaste better. I don't like getting my teeth brushed. But my mom said like to do a dental is like four hundred dollars and she's not rich. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. I gotta itch. Bye. Bye! Oh, Bentley, you gotta give him the closest. Closest. One more closest. Sorry, guys, you only get one. He has an itch. Bye!